Welcome to Dandies. Uh, today we're gonna talk about my permanent hair color. We're gonna start with a trim, outline your beard and your hair. Okay. We're gonna trim our customer beard. It's all depend on your customer preferences. If your customer wants to keep their natural shape or he wants to do straight, that's a consultation prior to the service. I'm gonna follow his uh, Adam apple right here and go diagonal. Don't go against the grain because you can pull your customer hair. So just try to go with the grain. or sides, sideways. Uh, Javi was telling me about his um, grays, he, uh, gray hair, how he, uh, how he got gray hairs. So it looks like within a year, he turned uh, white. This is a service that is getting very popular. He's young and he just wanna blend his grays. So what we're gonna do is just um, like a flashback. A year before COVID, okay? So that's all what we're gonna do on him. People that they don't see him before COVID, He's gonna keep um, the same uh, image of him, right? No white. Young forever. Okay? Forever 21. Forever 21. So what we're gonna do, it's, this is a tip that I wanna share. Whenever you wanna do a neck uh, lineup, always do sides, sides, and then you finish with the middle. I like to do, even though if you're gonna go a round shape, always do square and then just take the corners to have um, symmetry. I always said feather touch, okay? Don't give a, a very uh, hard hit on the neck because then you give them a permanent line, okay? We don't wanna do that. So once you have your square, I'm gonna follow to his natural um, shape on the neck. I'm gonna just get rid of the corners, kind of rounding it up, okay? Same thing on the other side, rounding it up. This is slow steel, so what I'm going to do is uh, go a little higher. It's geometry, you just wanna get the shape smaller, right? So taking side, side, bottom, top. Again, I go my side, and you always gonna have a, a symmetrical neck line. Okay, again. We continue with the other side. As well on the beer, I wanna do side sides and then connect the bottom. So I'm gonna go straight. What I'm going to do now is um, cut the bottom. Okay, up, up, up. So I already pre-cut this side. Yeah. 
with the grain, against the grain, and cross the way. So on beers, sometimes your trimmers can be very sharp and you can cut your customer. So try to do with the grain. If you can cut it, just go cross the way. Use your corners, the corners of your trimmer. Uh, when you're working with beers, the last thing that you're gonna leave is a cut. Okay, because that's going to ruin the whole service. You uh, don't want to have the baby butt uh, skin. You just want to give the shape of your customer, um, your beer customer. Use your corner. Okay, what your eyes cannot see, your mirror can see, okay? So I have a mirror right there, I'm gonna use my mirror. And if you're not sure, you can always use, use your phone, okay? So three, three security points, eyes, mirror, and phone. Well, also, what you can use is, I'm going to use my Adam Apple here in the corner of my um, ear. So you want to do diagonal, see, that just give you point A and point B. And you cannot miss that, right? So that's my um, reference point. Okay, and I'm gonna check on the other side. My Adam apple in my ear. Okay, see so yeah, as you can see, there's a, a little bit of hair right there. Use your corners. Especially on this neck area, we have different directions of the hair, right? So just use your corners to get rid of the, the hair. Okay, I'm gonna check on my mirror. Perfect, perfect shape, okay. I'm going to clean the mustache. Be careful on not to hit the lips, okay? So. On safety precaution, I just flip my trimmers and go up. If you're not sure, if you don't want to cut your customer, you can always use your zero guard and just trim it a little bit right before you use your trimmer. So I'll cut the length a little bit. Okay, and then you use your trimmer. You don't wanna go too high. You don't wanna go too high unless your customer requests it, okay? So this is a part of the consultation. Use your corner. Okay, what I do on the, on the corner of the lip is kind of stretch it to have better visual. Okay. I mean, guys, they like to look natural, so I don't think they want to show up some part of the skin above the lips, so just be conscious about that. What I'm going to do now, it's uh, the cheek area. Always use reference points. We have the end of the lips. We have our ears as a reference point. Also use their hairline as a guide. He has a um, hair all the way, you know, to the cheek, past the half cheek. We don't want to cut too much, so I'm going to use the, po the corner of the lip as a reference and the corner of his ear as a reference. Again, you can use your comb, see? So you have a... There's a forms 
pre forms for beer. I like to use my comb. This is my number one tool, multi-purpose comb. That's, that's how I call, so for one reason. So I'm gonna put my comb right there and I'm gonna clean the hair on the top, okay? When you get more experience, you don't have to use a comb, but it's a good tool to use it. Um, just be careful on the C cup right here. Some people, they want to keep it natural because they don't want to keep it, you know, clean it. So just don't push too much. Don't push the line too much. Just clean the baby hair. Use your corner. Use your trimmers, your fingers loose so you can move around. If you don't have cordless clipper, it's gonna be a little bit of struggle with the cable, so I recommend you always to get a cordless trimmer for the face trimming. Okay, so that's my line on that side. I'm going to do my other side. Same thing, I have my ear, I have the end of my lip, so I'm gonna just use, right, my comb as a guide. Okay, I'll clean it up. I'm gonna clean a little bit the C cup, the baby hair. Okay, so we have our neck cleanup. We have our beer lineup. And we have our cheek cleanup, our lips cleanup. So uh, this is a previous service before your demi permanent color. So we continue with the demi permanent color. Okay, this is Anna again. We're gonna talk today about chemical draping. For chemical draping on beard, it's a little bit different than a regular draping for hair color because you wanna drape the front part as well not only the back, because we're gonna do hair and beard. So I'm gonna show you how to protect your customer clothing. That's the, uh, the purpose of the towels. So we're gonna use one towel, half folded in half, and then open the corners, okay? And you have this little shape, right? This little triangle shape. We're gonna put this one right here. Let's say your customer, it's, um, wearing his favorite shirt, why, right? Because when guys go to the barber shop, they wanna look the best, they don't wanna look um, bad to get a haircut. So I'm gonna protect his clothing using this towel. Make sure to not pull his um, um, shirt. So just be gentle and tuck the towel in the um, shirt. This is the purpose of this towel and the front. Because sometimes the color on the beard can slip and you don't wanna have that stain on, on your customer clothes, okay? So that will be the front. Let's do the back, cause how about if that happened on the back, right? So we're gonna do, um, again, half, and then you use the corners, right? And you have that little shape right there. We're gonna put it right on our neck. Same thing, we're gonna tuck it in. The um, ends. The purpose of two draping is one, protect the customer clothing, and you don't want to have stain on your cape, neither, right? Unless you're using plastics, disposable ones, it's okay to not use it, but this is a classic way of draping. So what I'm going to do is put my cape on top of my customer. Make sure you cover the chair as well. I'm gonna use a third uh, towel. On this case, I'm gonna pretend this is like a hoodie. I put the hoodie. Make sure your towel cover the neck of your customer, right? On the front, what you're gonna do is, this way, sir, overlap 
they're from, overlap it, and put my cape right in the middle. Go around, and I have some to a towel here, okay? So what I'm gonna do is just don't choke your customer, okay? But you don't have a finger between the cape and your customer. And then hoodie, okay? This is double drape for beer and hair color. 